I've been saying gun buyback for a long time. I think it is the thing that works. I think it is the thing that brings people to the table and brings them out is money. I mean, we saw that work under the pandemic. It helped people. People do need money and yeah, it's it's the thing that actually moves the needle a little bit. And so I say give people a little bit of money to buy back their guns. Um we obviously need way more than that, but I think in the immediate that is huge. Um I also think that it has we have to reclaim a moral high ground. I mean, I I don't know if there's a bipartisan way forward. I hear you when you say you want to reach reach across the aisle and you always have. No, there I'm isn't. Like, I don't think you can work with Republicans on this issue because they're too too cowardly. Thank you, Francesca. That's the thing. We've tried all that. I've yeah. been there. I've been to meetings. I've showed up at the Capitol. I've heard gun violence survivors share their stories. Here yep. in Colorado a week ago, we had a bill to hopefully pass just like Washington did to um, ban assault rifles. So many survivors were there. It was killed before it was even brought to the floor, as you guys know. So yes, uh, Syrah Rao, our leader, our fearless leader always says, listen, the Republicans, the NRA, the gun lobby, they are in the game. They're shooting baskets, they're tearing it up. What are we doing? In her words, she says, we're on the sidelines blowing bubbles. It's not time to reach across the aisle anymore. We've done that. It's not yeah. working. It's time for us to use our imagination and be bold. And if you have 25,000 plus white women primarily sitting on the lawn in governor in front of Governor Polis, saying, yeah. listen, our kids matter more than your guns. I mean, think about all the times as a mom, I've had products for my children being recalled and banned because mm-hmm. they killed one child. One child's yeah. too many. So a that's such a good banned. point. Oh a my God, Sam, that's banned. so true. But you know what they'll say, Francesca? Because I've talked about that. Yeah. They'll come back at me and say, yeah, but Sam, that rocker is not constitutional. That <laughs> rocker is not my second amendment. Again, right. <laughs> your guns are our children. And the constitution is meant to be changed. If it's not yeah. for the people, we the people have to stand up and do something. We can and we will. We can yeah. and we will. Finally, well, the state legislators have failed us. The uh, federal legislators have failed us. Finally, you have we the people standing up. You have moms standing up. Yeah. That is one group of people you're not going to mess with. I am not going to stop. And these women with me are not going to stop until our children are safe. When the number one cause of death in this country is guns for children's and for children and teens, we're not going to give up. We can and we will. We can and we will. We can and we will. Enough is enough. Yeah, look, look. Obviously, the Second Amendment does exist, but we also don't have to surrender to the radical, incredibly ultra modern interpretation of what it actually means, which it has not meant for hundreds of years. The interpretation is so out of whack with historically what it was considered to protect. Um, it doesn't mean that you have access to literally any kind of arms that you want, or that the arms uh, should be stripped of all you know modern safety features, all of that stuff. But um, I am curious in terms, so we already have an idea of what the state legislature's view on this is. In terms of the governor, like you want to focus on pressuring the governor. What do you, how amenable to pressure do you think he is based on decisions that he's made in the past? I, listen, Colorado's unique. Yes, we're a blue state. That's why we chose Denver, Colorado. It's not a coincidence. Like we're not going to go to a red state. So we strategically chose Denver, Colorado. I definitely know Governor Polis is as empathetic and progressive as they come. Now his house, literally the House Committee just killed, it was three Democrats and I believe four Republicans just killed the bill to ban assault rifles. Now Governor Polis on the other hand, I think is a lot more reasonable and he has children himself. So again, we're not gonna leave until he signs that executive order. Now, of course, that's gonna have to go to the Supreme Court. We have measures in place for all the things that could and could not happen. We've thought it through. Again, the women leading this movement are incredibly smart, incredibly driven. And if A, B, C, D, E, and F don't work, you better believe that the rest of the alphabet, we're gonna have initiative (laughs) to complete our initiative. So we are emboldened, we are ready. We have. We have so many people that have already RSVP'd across the nation. I know people that are gonna stay in my house from North Carolina, from Oregon, from California, coming in again to sit our butts on that lawn on June 5th, 5 a.m. You can learn all the details at Here for the Kids Action. 
just sign on. A lot of people are involved now. Chelsea Handler's involved. Jody Sweeten is involved. A lot of an incredible BIPOC activists are involved. So the word this just started about two weeks ago, and you already have people wow. ready because people are sick and tired of dropping their kids off at school and wondering if they're going to be able to tuck them in at night. And again, that's just for mass shootings. We know mass shootings only account for a very small percentage of gun right. violence. Here right. in Colorado, the number one cause of death, aside from the gun violence is death by suicide by a gun. That was yep. for the last four years before even we learned about the new statistics from the CDC. So it's just, I can't handle it anymore as a parent. I'm not gonna stand by, I'm not gonna stand by, I'm not. We get so up in arms, no pun intended, when there's, uh, you have to take measures to get in a car with a car seat, with a seat belt. We do the same thing when it comes to other things to protect our kids. Don't eat this, don't drink this, don't go out here. You don't want that to cause cancer. But the number one cause of death is guns. We know what to do here. Mm -hmm. And we've tried to reach across the aisle. We've tried, of course, like mental health and gun, uh, safe gun storage laws and red flag laws. Of course, all those things have been pushed, but it's not moving the needle. It's not, it's time for us to be bolder. It's time for us to think outside of the box. It's time for us to meet fire with fire because the other side, the other side has no qualm. I followed what was happening at the NRA convention. They have new legislation oh God, just yeah. like has passed in Florida, new legislation coming out left and right. It's not good. Yeah. Well, all it's right. <laughs> Yeah, and you have people like Christy Noam talking about how she gave her one-year-old a rifle and a shotgun and stuff like that. So these are the people that you're you're up against. Um, really fast, I want to make sure. Obviously, you know, as many people as possible should show up. But for those who might be too far or they don't have the means, how can they get involved? What would you like them to do? Go to here for the kids action. Go on Instagram right now. Follow here number four, the kids action. And you're going to hear from a lot of different individuals that can tell you how you can help. Whether that means helping out from your home, whether that means figuring out semantics, whether that means communication, websites, bumper stickers, just financing in general. There's a lot people can do. So if you can't be there, and I strongly urge, the more bodies, the better. I we're, we're gonna be peaceful, we're gonna be direct, but we're gonna be peaceful, but the more bodies, the better. So I strongly urge awesome. your viewers, your listeners to show up June 5th here in Denver. Go to my Instagram and communicate with me. At Sam Shocker, I can help out. I already have a lot of people staying at my house. I'm gonna rent a bus. <laughs> we're gonna go on in, and we're gonna we're going to Love follow it. through with this because I believe in this. We can and we will. But yes, go to here for the kids action, John. And there's a lot of different initiatives people can do if they are not able to leave their home. Thank you. I see, I see Brooke is sharing it uh, in the chat. Thank you. Um, I also see from Brett that he misses you. Um, oh. I noticed that as well. Brett, I love Brett. I miss yes. all of you. Uh, I we, we do as well, and uh, you know I, I love that that not only that you're doing so much awesome work, but that you're using the platform that you have in you know one of the most important issues, you know, facing the country today. We really do appreciate that, and uh, and joining us on the show to let people know about it. So. Thank you so much, Sam, as always. Thank you, and thank you for all of your work. I'm telling you, everything that you guys do, every single thing, every single thing you thank say, you. it's it's creating more progressive. And at the end of the day, if we can have more people that are thinking and advocating for marginalized groups, we're gonna be a much healthier, much safer, and much more empathetic country. And that's the country I want my children to grow up in. So thank you all for doing the work. I appreciate you thank more you. than you know. Thank you so much. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.